Hey guys, this is Alex from 4C Trading. And today let's talk about Syscoin, right? It is a little bit late at night currently, but I was flipping through charts, you know, trying to find some opportunities right before the bedtime. This is what I usually like to do, right? It puts you right to sleep and <laughs> get it because you watch the charts. And um, the thing I was spotting is it's uh, Syscoin, right? <clears throat> uh, what is interesting about Syscoin is they had, <laughs> and I gotta, gotta say, they had a 400% pump, right? Which is quite impressive. But then what uh, struck me next is this, right? This failure right here. I mean, this was the sort of a area you had to hold for you to be able to retest the top or continuate, right? And what you only got from that area, I mean, it was still a quite a decent pump, right? I mean, it was still a 70% movement, but you failed and now you went under it, right? Uh, and now if you look at it, if you look, if we look at it closely and actually uh, delete, move, uh, delete the drawings, we see that we closed under this move for like quite some days, right? And even though that we have rebounced, it kind of makes me believe right now that if we don't rebounce all the way to up here, right, that we will actually reject and go visit this, right? So the thing is, uh, so again, like most of the trades we have lately, because you know, due to the fact that how they are set up, you know. It's, Ethereum, Bitcoin again, right? Because they failed so hard. Uh, most of the trades dropped as well. And now you're just trying to find this little sweet spots of the entry, right? For some positions that you could be holding uh, for a longer period of time. And this is one of those trades that could actually be held for a couple of weeks if it gets filled, right? So in this case, we're going to go check out the number one scenario, right? Number one scenario, this, this, is, uh, this gets hit, right? Number, number one would be, let's see, a long position right here, right here. Oh, shit. Okay, the stop loss is going to be a widen in this time around. I cannot help it. I'm actually going to have to put it down here. That's about 22% stop loss. I can't move the buy area in this sort of situation. I can't move the stop loss. So this is actually the double the stop loss that I normally use. But I will go with it because the original pump was so strong that it gained 400% that I will actually go with this one because the area is so wide and the coin is sort of a low Satoshi, which now kind of explains to me why the stop is so wide. And I'm going to actually put the first profit target down here which again, as you can see, already brings us a 50% on the entire coin, right? So if it's already 50%, you know, I'm going to be happy, right? Even though with a 20% stop loss, a move is going to take a little bit longer uh, to form, right? I mean, because I got to expect that they had to have some good news for this to happen, like just like in this couple of two, three days candles, right? So they had to be pretty good news. So that would be the first trade with the first profit target, right? <clears throat> and the second profit target, I'm going to be aiming quite high, uh, right, right around here, yes. That would be the second profit target and probably in this case, the last profit target as well. And this profit target, I got to mention, is 150% or 7R, right? Definitely a pretty decent profit target, a pretty decent trade, I would say, right? More than double the bank. And yes, this would actually be my last profit target because uh, as it goes, if it goes all the way down here, trust me, it's going to reject this one. It's not going to break it on the first try. That would really rarely happen, right? The second scenario right now, uh, the second scenario, if we pump all the way to up here, all the way to up here, or possibly even here, right? All the way to up here. Then yes, there will be another opportunity to fill the trade in this area. That would be... And the thing, the thing is, uh, why I dislike this scenario, and I will personally uh, not be taking this one, even though it's available, even though I'm just like calling it out. So for the first reason, it's going to be, okay, so I see the stop loss is going to be about 18%, so uh, definitely close to this one, right? Not really much improvement. And the first profit target in this case has to be this again. So it's here you see smaller, smaller R, smaller percentage move, right? And also, why is part of the reason I'm not going to be taking this one? Because I do think after getting a closure all the way down here uh, and pumping all the way to up here, even if we pump all the way to up here and gain to the left side, I still don't trust this coin with the volume drops that it has currently right here that it's going to hold that position and continue from there, right? I don't trust them unless they have something I'm really missing here, like some really strong news. 
I am pointing this other position out because you guys may actually be a holders of this coin and you may actually, you know, be interested and you know more stuff than I know. So this is a possibility of the trade that you can absolutely take if you want to. I will be skipping that one. I will just be uh, waiting for this one down here, you know, as it is. I'm also going to tag it out with the area so you can see more clearly the buy. And I will be having these two profit targets on it, right? And then we'll see if these ones, they actually get hit, they filled, and, you know, hopefully they win for us as well, right? And again, guys, if you want to be seeing this, more of these trades or how we move our stop losses or how we actually adjust the stop losses, everything, right? Uh, structural wise, please join us at 4C community channel, right? We do, uh, we do all this kind of stuff every day, you know, uh, we discuss uh, trades, stop losses, everything basically that goes down with trading. You can ask questions, you can ask everything, right? If you wish to see more of these videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel, punch that bell button, right? And yes, we will be seeing each other on the next one.